this is a video response to, I think it's called He Meant to Do That, by Wes964. I will leave a link to the original video down below. Greetings Wes, I haven't watched an awful lot of your videos, but you're clearly one of the good guys on here, so good video, very informed. And I pretty much agree with everything you said. I'm not really going to be repeating it. Those of you who are wondering, just go watch Wes's video. It's excellent. One thing. The part where you say that everybody gets picked on every now and then. Something like that. I might be paraphrasing. I hope that you feel it lives up to the original intended meaning. Before I comment too much on it, I haven't really followed the whole drama with Weatherman Kevin all that much. I've really only heard about it in other people's videos. And from all I can tell, the judgment of him is pretty, you know, founded in just, well, yeah, what he did was wrong, obviously. There is no excuse for making death threats, and I am not looking to make any excuses or defend him. I am mainly just looking to clarify something through personal history here. Anyway, when you said, you know, everybody gets picked on every now and then, I don't know if Weatherman Kevin has said that this was the extent. I don't know if he said anything about the extent of the bullying that he experienced. Maybe he has, and maybe you did not, in any way, what's the word, maybe your description of the amount was entirely accurate, I don't know. If so, the rest of this video is just a more general statement and doesn't have anything to do with Weatherman Kevin. I'm not really looking to comment too much on the Weatherman Kevin thing here. Just your video made me want to do this video about bullying and the effects of bullying. The the problem with saying, you know, we all get picked on every now and then, yes, but then there are those who get bullied vehemently, continuously, through many years, and there is a huge difference between these two. Yes, we all do get picked on every now and then. It's worse for some. Anyway, I think, once again, if you don't know the full extent and you are, I don't know, either guessing or, I think, I don't want to sound like I'm judging just you because we all do it sometimes. When we're talking about something that we are against, we might have a tendency to try to minimize the pain that the other feels. For example, in general, you know, we focus more on what we, where we feel we're right, and we might downplay where we feel that they might be right about something.
the I don't condone his behavior but I would be lying if I claimed that I could not at all understand what motivates it. I was bullied by pretty much everyone I came into contact with through most of my education. I went to three or four different schools, depending on how you want to count the last one, but I'm not going to go into any details on that right here and now in this video. And of the three or four schools, one of them I went to twice. It was kind of where they dumped the students that couldn't get along with others in a regular school. I'm not saying that it was absolutely everyone, but it pretty much was, and I don't think I had what you might call friends, ever, in any of these schools. I didn't socialize with anyone. And what it does, this is really make it tense to, well, especially go to school, but in general just coexist with these people. I mean, I was rather fortunate in some ways because I did not have to deal with classmates in all of these schools. One of them I had to take a bus ride to get to. It was in a different, I don't remember if it was a town or a city. Anyway, I did not see these people outside of school other than a couple of birthday parties. So I didn't really have to deal with them other than school hours. But it's just this constant grip where you don't feel like you can even really be there with these other people. It's not... I mean, again, I'm not referring to, you know, the when it isn't a lot. Although I would point out that there are very different levels of sensitivity to it. And not everyone is of a strong constitution. Not everyone has a supportive environment and can handle that sort of thing. When I came home and I had been bullied, it wasn't... I mean, my mother, who I have talked about in a couple of other videos, pretty much just made me feel like... I don't know, it just encouraged this already strong feeling that what I was doing and how I was was wrong and that I somehow caused these things. Even though I did everything I could to avoid conflict. the problems were never really solved. I was just moved to a different school, or I stayed in the same school if there were no more schools. I mean, once again, I went to the dumping ground for the undesirables twice. It was just kind of, you know, there were no good solutions. I was just kind of tossed there because there didn't seem to be, and I mean, you can guess just how much negative attention there was in that place. I don't think that you can understand 
how bad it is if you haven't been very heavily bullied. And I'm not... I also want to clarify, some people do get back out of it. I'm not sure I've met any. Okay, maybe one or two. But for some of us, it really leaves a mark. And it, it can affect you years later. No matter how much you might not want it to. And when I say I don't think... I mean, I don't know. You know... I don't know you, Wes. I don't know... Maybe you have been. And maybe you did get out of it. But I think if you haven't experienced it, I don't think you can truly comprehend what it's like. And I'm not saying this as some kind of... I'm, I'm not trying to hog the... Th that, that isn't something I think of as just for this one subject. I think that goes for really everything, at least beyond a certain point. If you haven't experience something within that realm, you can't imagine it. I... Th there's an excellent Russian proverb which translates to something along the lines of the... the one who is full does not understand the one who is hungry. And... you can apply this to almost everything and it will still be true. If you're in a different situation and you haven't I mean, there's also, you know, there are different levels of empathy, but if you haven't experienced what the other person has experienced, or if your experiences with it were milder or stronger, then you can't understand. I don't understand people who haven't been really severely bullied. I don't understand the ease at which they socialize. I don't understand how they can relax so much, because I can't. So. I don't think that... I think I've made my point. Forgive the rambling. Maybe I should have stated this earlier. This is not a cry for attention, and it is not a plea for th sympathy. I wish to put words to what I can imagine some might have trouble with, because I know this is an extremely painful subject, for myself included, and, I don't know, I personally have a bit of a sense that I can help put words to things that some others might have trouble to, with. Anyway, especially with some of the more difficult subjects. I... Though I logically know that the rest of the world, the rest of the world's population is not a big unformed mass who all have some inherent problem with me, that they aren't out to get me, as once again Weatherman Kevin does. I know this logically, but when I did get into education, it was essentially... Yeah, it was the last few grades, and when I got there, and the people around me were open and accepting, and they didn't, at least outwardly, express any strong dislike of me. Though I logically know and knew then that 
the rest of the world were was not this big mass of people who all are like the same. I still did think to myself, so now you're ready to accept me. And I I still am somewhat trapped by the experiences that I had because until relatively recently, the, ma the last maybe fourth or fifth of my life, I'm 24, so you can do the math, I was not accepted, not by my peers, and largely not by those who were older than me. There were expectations, and even if I met them, those who were older than me would essentially treat it as if that was the bare minimum. I did have loving parents, but the bar has always been so high. And in class and in recess, for various reasons, I just, I was a target and the, I'm slowly at least trying to improve social skills and trying to get friendships and I can't really understate overstate the impact that it has had and continues to have to have been bullied that much, I I can't particularly relax, even when I'm by myself. I So while I'm not condoning the actions of Weatherman Kevin, I can understand why he reacts like that. And when he deleted the videos, and said something to the effect of, it was just a joke. I don't know. I personally see that as more of a cry for help. I think it is extremely difficult to admit when you've done something wrong. I think this is true for many of us because there is a stigma. There is this utterly ridiculous idea that when you have made one mistake then you can't be trusted or at least not quite as much as those who haven't made any mistakes. And it's ridiculous because we all make mistakes. This is... that is life. We make mistakes, we try to fix them, we move on, we learn from our mistakes you know, that is the idea, at least. So, while he may not have admitted to his mistake, I cannot condemn him for this, because... 
that is what that is how it is for most people I I hope that weatherman Kevin manages to overcome these the effect of these experiences and since I've I should probably since I've expressed sympathy for him I should probably say you know to anyone who has been threatened by him with death or physical harm or being tracked down Obviously, I have far more sympathy for you. I... Once again, I'm not condoning that sort of behavior. I don't think there is anything that can justify that kind of behavior. But I do want to, I do want people to realize that this sort of behavior, I've seen so many times in my life that people will just poke the bear right until they get scratched and then the bear is shot. It's not restrained, it's shot. It's attacked with full force. And I'm not saying the bear was right, but I am saying that there is way too much focus on I, I think we need more focus on what it does to people and to make that common knowledge 